Hey everybody, welcome back to a Two Minute Talk. This one's on our article on our website for bolt lubricants. Uh, you should totally go check this guy out. We did, a, this is a good, be, it's a comprehensive guide. It's really good for starting off, but if you need, if you want to get deeper, trust me, we get super nerdy on this. So in this article, we talk about what is bolting, a brief history, why to use it, how much to use it, where to apply it, right? And then a torque card of how it would be based off. So what's really cool about lubricant is uh, lubricant will give you consistent frictional properties, which is really good. And what's interesting on this one we found out is uh, every anti-seize is a lubricant, but not every lubricant's an anti-seize. So we're really moving on from a new article that we're going to put out about anti-seize versus lubrication. But, you know, lubrication helps you with breakout. And everybody's like, oh, I get messy. Guess what? The number one cause of galling is because of that. We talk about that here. Like, why use it? Galling is nasty. The biggest reason is, if you've ever noticed, you never get galling on three quarter inch studs, but you always get them galled up on three, three inch studs, right? Why? How well do they lubricate the three inch studs? It takes a lot of lubricant to get that done. So galling is like the anti-seize part of this lubricant. We talk about that. We talk about getting the proper K factor with the proper torque chart. Uh, looking at Appendix K and PCC1, how you should be doing this experimentally, figuring out your K-factor. This needs to be done experimentally. You can't just do it with math. We tried it. It didn't work. Um, also, uh, non-lubricated uh, bolt nut factor. It's basically impossible to figure it out because even machine oil or a little bit of WD-40 will completely change. It looks like it's dry, but it's not. So it's a big discrepancy on if it is, if this lubricant has been baked off, right? Or if the oil has. Uh, in this video on the article, we show you how much to use, but you can see here that proper lubrication, and this makes sense, your bolt load gets higher, your bolt scatter gets lower when you use lubrication properly. We also throw in the PCC1 chart for one KSI at different K factors, so you can see how your torque value would change by using different K factors in here. If you need to know more information about lubrication, uh, or if you've got other questions about bolting, please feel free to contact us at info at hextechnology.com. That's info at hextechnology.com. Thanks for showing up today, guys. Take care.